Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Medita. I'm here with Vanessa and Lily. <laughs> and it's currently, it's 2.30 a.m. and I'm about to give you guys all the books I'm unhauling. It's 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. in Florida. And I'm unhauling books. Vanessa's lying on my bed doing whatever. <laughs> Lily is reading. Um, I'm inspired by Lily because Lily had this giant unhauling plan. She has this giant stack. And we're doing the same thing. I'm not selling all of these. Some, yes. But most of them I'll probably just give away because I don't think anyone wants to buy these books, if I'm going to be fully honest. And I'm just going to show them all to you. I have a total of... Now I need to count them real quickly. I have a total of 52 books that I am unhauling. Honestly, I thought it was way more, but I guess it's not. I was thinking of more doing like 100, but okay, now I need to put my disclaimer on the screen. I'm not talking about my disclaimer. Okay, starting off with an author. Oh my God, I can't pick this up. Oh my God, <laughs> that a lot of people really like. I'm just gonna show the stack like this and then you can guess for a second. Did you guess it? I don't think you did. We're unhauling Mariana Zapata. All 11 of her books that I own. Sound effects? Yeah, I'm gonna do them for you. Okay, we're unhauling Mariana Zapata. Yeah, I read five of Mariana Zapata books. It's too slow burn for me. You know there's slow burn and then there's too slow burn. Also, apparently he calls her meatball in this book, which means I'm not reading this. This one I don't even know anything about. This one I read way too slow. Ooh, this one I did not read, so I don't know. Isn't he called Zack Attack in this book? And it's just like, I looked at you as my sister when you were younger and now I kind of want to date you. It's giving incest but not really incest we don't like never at all roads lead here kind of disappointing but you know too much focus on penis sizes he calls her schnecke which by the way means snail in german and it's just not attractive i don't remember anything about this book except for the girl's name being vanessa yeah unhauling 11 mariana zapata books next we're unhauling a motorcycle series now you have two guesses a it's tilly cole b it's Gianna darling if you guessed a guess again if you guessed b don't guess again. Not Gianna Darling series, Gianna Darling books. Gianna Darling books. I only read book one. Um, I was in this weird phase in 2021 where I just completely listened to book talk and bought every book they told me was good. Vanessa and Lily are laughing off screen and it's making me want to laugh too. And I need to be super serious about this because this book was so bad. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't think you understand. This kid was called King. Like that's his first name by his dad. Let's just let that sink in for a second because you're trying to tell me your dad called you king <laughs> that is so weird i don't get it and then it's also an age gap romance he's 18 he calls her a babe okay so he's just, he's really cocky i don't like motorcycle series i don't know why i thought i would i hate this book i will not read the rest of the series especially after finding out that this girl's like 17 in the second book when they start dating no i'm not doing this and isn't his name Zeus? What is up with these names? This one is called Lion. Okay, let's just find out all these names. Zeus, Lion. Is the name mentioned on here? Is that name Lion? Yeah, he growls in bed. <laughs> okay, so this guy's name is Nova. And this guy is a killer, a criminal, and a psychopath. Hmm, I just love my men to kill other people. And this guy's name is Priest. Okay, what the hell? Okay. Guys, if you ever see me joining a sorority, just know I was held at gunplay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Bama Rouge Day 2. Today, I'm wearing my mama's old earrings and this dress from a boutique down the street. <laughs> Next, I'm unhauling books by Helena Hunting. I read the Puck series as ebooks. Hated that series. We all know I don't understand Helena Hunting's obsession with dicks. The fourth book in the series is probably the reason why I'm unhauling this. This series specifically because Pucked, 100% gone. But I gave two books in the series three stars. The reason I'm unhauling them is because in the fourth book, the married couple, like this, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys the family tree and I'm gonna draw it out on screen. This man has a daughter and this woman has a son, okay? These two get married and then the mom and dad get married and they have a child together. So then like these married two, like two people both have a sibling from each part of their parents. It's weird. No. And like, it's not romantic and like forbidden. No, no. Like it's not forbidden. It's, it's weird. <sighs> I'm getting like aggressive. This is making me so mad. <laughs> Next we're hauling, um, this is fucking serious call. <laughs> Shut up, Lily. Guys, I can't concentrate. 
Next, I'm unhauling The Royal Elite Series by Rina Kent. This series um, gives me nightmares. This series is weird and I'm gonna talk about one book in specific. No, I'm gonna talk about two books in specific. One, The Valiant King. So this guy is 16, okay, and he feels like the biggest badass ever. And he just like pushes the new girl against a fucking locker and says, I will destroy you. You are not Darth Vader. Like, I don't know what you're trying to tell me. You're 16. You haven't even hit puberty yet. I don't get this stuff. No. Like, no. And then it's just like bullying. So like, I don't like this. Two is this stupid book about her best friend. Okay, so I'm gonna spoil this book now. So be ready for spoilers. This guy bullies this girl because he thinks she is his sister. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck? And then while he still thinks that they are biologically related, he kisses her and does more with her. Remember, he still thinks they are biologically related. Hmm. I wonder why I don't like this. Makes no sense, why wouldn't I like this? And like, I know it turns out in the end they aren't siblings, but he still thought this while doing this stuff. Hmm, I said like, I don't, I don't get it. Oh. Okay. Next, I'm unhauling a- <laughs> Sorry. I need to concentrate, this is very serious business right now, and you both? <laughs> I'm not letting me thrive in my new job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Next, we're unhauling Books by Emma Jones. is the definition of YN. She's so not like other girls because she skateboards. Oh my God, like she would never love this guy. And then we're on hauling the Elite Kings Club series by Emma Jones. It's seven books. I don't like any of the guys. I don't like any of the girls. There's this weird obsession about girls not being able to wear underwear under their dresses. Why? I just don't get why you would do that. It's unnecessary. It has no reason. This book just also, they, they gave me the ick because the guys acted like they were 30 year old mafia gang leaders and they are literally 18. You are not that important. What are you doing? Go study like math or biology. Don't do this stuff. Next, we have a few books by problematic authors. Warren Halling, Willow Winters. <laughs> the delayed sound effects, okay. Willow Winters is a problematic author. I read two, three books of hers. I didn't really enjoy any of them and then I found it out and I was like, okay, now I know I don't wanna buy any more of her books or ever try her books again and now I can unhaul them. So we're unhauling these books. Next we're unhauling Games We Play by Donna Isali. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. This author is pissing me off. She's also problematic. And then we're unhauling Cora Riley. I read two books by Cora Riley. These two. The washing machine just went off. <laughs> Cute. Okay, let's be serious for one second. Um, Cora Riley is a problematic author. She's an ableist and one of her, she was going to publish a book about a girl in a wheelchair and she used ableist language to describe her. I don't support ableist people. And then we have three authors left, so this is gonna be really easy. One is Periculum in Maleficium by Natalie Bennett. I bought these because the titles were Latin and I thought, oh my God, kind of cool. I know Latin, right? Um, the books are bad. The books are really, really dark, really, really, really graphic. There's this weird scene where this girl eats a strawberry that's poisonous and then she dies, but she has a seizure and it's so graphic and descriptive. I actually wanted to throw up myself. So we're not doing this. Next, we have two books by B. Celeste. <laughs> this is very serious. Yes. We have two more books. Two more books, guys. Let's get serious. Let's get down to business. Yeah. And defeat the Hans. 
Next, we're unhauling two books by B. Celeste. So we're unhauling The Truth About a Heartbreak because we're unhauling this book. This book was meh. This book is weird. Okay, so spoiler, in this book, a 16 year old girl marries her uncle. Let that sink in please for a second. Um, no. Mind you, there's also spicy scenes between the 16, 16 year old and her 31 year old uncle. Let that sink in again. That is so weird. I can't even begin to explain it. There are so many scenes that make me so uncomfortable in this book. And then last but not least is, wait, no, I want to unhaul Tangle too. Where the- I'm unhauling two more books, guys. Hello. <laughs> I'm tucked in for bed, everyone. <laughs> Ow, my knees. I was gonna say, once a day, you should take a book off of her shelf until she notices. <laughs> We're unhauling Wallbanger by Alice Clayton. The title, oh yeah. <laughs> Why is that cover like that? That's actually kind of concerning. Title. The, wall the beginning of the book is um is a very descriptive, you know, scene. I don't like it. And then in the end, there's also a spicy scene, right? And you know, there's like this thing that happens to the girl where she like sees stuff, like where like her eyes get like foggy, you know, right? The peak. And he doesn't get her to that. And that's like this entire scene. Or she then says, he didn't do it for me, but then they still end up together. Confusing, you know? There's a cat in this book, and the cat is sexually attracted to a human being that meows during spicy scenes. And then last but not least, we're unhauling Tangled and Twisted by Emma Chase. Um, if you watched my last monthly wrap up, I talked about Tangled and how this book is awful. I am going to now be reciting that one paragraph again. Turns out I didn't get blue balls after all. I met up with the coffee house girl that night. She's a yoga instructor. Nice. What? Come on, don't be like that. I want cake, no question. But don't expect me to act like a monk until it happens. The thing women don't understand is that a guy can want one woman and still fuck another. Hell, a guy could love a woman and still fuck 10 others. It's just the way it is. Sex is a release, purely physical. That's all, at least to men it is. This book is purely out of the men's perspective too. What are you doing, Emma Chase? Yeah, those are all the books I am unhauling today at 8.54 p.m. Tomorrow I'm leaving at 8 a.m. to go to London. So I'm packing my bag. So let's say I'm going to bed at 4 a.m. and I have to wake up at 7 a.m. to get ready. So we're sleeping three hours tonight. Well, you. Oh, right. You yeah. <laughs> So yeah, those are all the books I'm unhauling. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day, evening, night, morning, whatever time zone. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Dusk, dawn, after the hour, quarter to five. It's happy hour somewhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do not read a book. Actually, if you have any of these books, unhaul that book. Again, thank you all for watching this video. Have a great day, happy reading, and see you next time. Bye! 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 Ha 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 ha!